Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. We have a really fun episode today. We are gonna be pushing the limits, flying as fast as I think we ever have with a 3D printed airplane. This is the Model R from Eclipson. Also, big shout out to Color Fab with this awesome lightweight PLA filament yeah. in green. Yes. Looks amazing, don't even have to paint it. So we're not only gonna be pushing the limits with speed, but also weight and FPV. We've never flown one of these FPV before. This thing can supposedly hit over 100 miles an hour. <laughs> we're gonna put our FPV system on it. We are gonna go ripping all over Edgewater, push the limits, push the wings to the limits, and see if we can come back in one piece. You ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Let's get it done. Rather than wait until this is all built before I uh, paint this, I'm gonna go ahead and do this canopy here uh, and mask it off and paint it. Now this is my own idea. This is actually right in the build video where they recommend doing so. It's a lot easier to manage this piece than the whole entire airplane. I'm just copying what he did in the video. Just simply tracing out the, uh, the canopy. I'm gonna cut this out, remove it, mask it off, spray this, then I can come back and the canopy's already painted and all done. I tell you, every single one of these, every single one of these that I build, yeah. like, steps up. Yeah. I remember the very first one with tape hinges, and now, I mean, there's just no way you could repeat these lines with foam board or even with balsa. Right, I mean, yeah. And feel the weight. <laughs> Things so, lighter than air almost. It's, it's, it's crazy. crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And this is with the new lightweight PLA that's green. And yes. look at the color contrast with the poppin. I mean, just, just two totally different worlds. Yeah, this is also, Lightweight. So yeah. lightweight PLA, it's got the green, they've got the red, got the yellow, the silver, the black. Yeah. Just all these cool different uh, scenarios coming out for these sweet, yeah. sweet filaments. The weight, you, you the, can't, the you can't, you, you have to just feel it for yourself oh. because it's literally, it is as if you're not even holding it. Yeah. Really. About five years ago, I was talking like, there's no way 3D printed planes are ever gonna really be a mainstream thing. Yeah. Thank God I was so wrong <laughs> because it's just, it's therapeutic. Like, yeah. you got a lot of time cutting them, yes. Yeah. But when it comes time to assembly, this is every bit as satisfying for me as putting together one of our foam board models. And that's and saying something from Josh Lickler's point of view. Yeah, well, <laughs> awesome. and it's just two different worlds. Like, you, you, you build a foam board airplane, you're ready for that next challenge, yeah. but you love the satisfaction of the assembly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, where we fold together, it's like, ah, fuselage. We just glue this together and it's like, Ah, fuselage. <laughs> so it's it's as, as simple as that, and everything lines up. So I mean, I started on this 15 minutes ago, and the fuselage is pretty much done. I got one more glue joint, and then we're on to the tail. That's amazing. So all Keep right, printing for the win. <laughs> so things are gonna go pretty fast here. The fuselage is pretty much done. My next step here, as soon as I get this glued, is the tail assembly, and then we're on to the wings, and then it's just simply a matter of putting electronics in it. So uh, that's legit. Yeah. Well, good luck, sir. Thank you. <laughs> What are you doing? So, uh, I'm sending down these little 3D printed little pegs here. And uh, the reason that we're doing that is when they're 3D printed, the small, there's little burrs and everything, and uh, they're too big for the holes, so we either have to drill through the plastic, which is not a good idea, or we have to sand them down, so that's what we're doing. Just like that. All right, so this is an incredibly fast airplane with very, very small wheels. We're not gonna be able to land this successfully in the tall grass without flipping it over, and I don't wanna do that damage, so we're gonna be building the version that belly lands. Now, the really cool thing about this is this does have a wing option, which enables you to be able to put the landing gear in, and it's insane how well they design this, and it's incredibly strong. Along with that, these wheels, they're not just hard plastic, they're actually squishy here, and they're also 3D printed. This is a new filament called VariaSure, and it's incredible for printing wheels and soft, pliable objects like what you see here. Now this filament is the exact same filament that we used on our bush plane, and it's just incredible how well it works. We're gonna put a link down below to this filament because it's fantastic for wheels for model airplanes.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think we're ready. <laughs> All right, so we are pretty much ready to go. I cannot believe, just you know, from assembling this, the evolution of how amazing these things are going together is only getting better and better and better. Uh, now Dave came out and joined me today. He's gonna help hand launch this so I can keep my hands on the controls. Ready to launch me? Let's do it. Awesome. I think we got it. My guess is it's gonna pull right out of your hand pretty big. So, All right. Are you ready, Noah? Ready. All right, I'm nervous and excited. Holy God. Did you see the torque? All right, just like every Eclipse and model, the torque is real. I'm at 25% throttle and it flies on rails. All right, I'm just gonna say I think this is my favorite model. I cannot wait to mess with Mike and put the coals to this thing. I know you said this is your favorite model so far, but I think they're all my favorite. <laughs> they Eclipse are. does such a beautiful job. Well, the fact that we can actually uh, display these and everyone has a unique flying characteristic, but they're all just equally balanced. It's already got pretty good speed. You're at what, half yeah. throttle? A little bit under. What is that, about third? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Should we do a high speed pass? Yeah, go for it. I want to just mess with, with Michael Agri. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you did a good job keeping up with it, bud. I don't know where you are now, though. I'm going to do a fast pass. Whoa! <laughs> that has to be every bit of 100 miles an hour. Like Holy cow. All right, big lazy loop. Oh, look at that, Dave. All right, Dave, you gotta fly this. I'm gonna land this and then you fly it, okay? You down? Uh, sure. So one thing I notice, it is slippery. Wow. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's how durable it is. A little bit of a, a clip there. So I think I know why this happened here. Uh, we didn't put the landing gear mod on purpose because we wanted to be able to belly land it. But what that does leave exposed are these two guys right here. And if you look right there, that got snagged. And what it did is when it landed, it jerked that violently and cracked that loose. But the cool thing is we just got to glue it back together. I don't see, I don't see a single thing wrong with it. Well, we're not going to be able to let you fly it today, but we do have another idea. We're going to put some FPV on this sucker, and we are going to go pylon racing FPV style. Awesome. Awesome. Let's do it. Dang, dude. This is it. That's it? So this happens to everybody, <laughs> me especially. You get all excited to get something built and get it flying. You forget something really crucial like the guards for the servos. Mm, the yes. second I land, I'm like, oh, you know what would have been really good as guards for servos? They were here the whole time. <laughs> I just was such in a hurry just to put this thing together. But it's going so fast. Read the instructions, yeah. take your time, do it right. Um, basically what these do guys is these protect the servo from getting snagged. So if I would have had this and I would have landed, it would have acted as skids on the wings, it would have protected it. And this is actually sitting higher than even the control horn. Right. So everything would have been protected. We're actually really lucky. And dude, I'm really amazed. This is lightweight PLA. Yeah. The fact that it took that snap the way it did, <laughs> I mean, it, it was violent. It was like, really violent. Like if you held the filament and, and just the plane in your hand, you'd think yeah. that any little would yeah. just explode it to pieces. But and it held up really nice. From this point on, I want every one of my planes to be this crazy green color. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So the cool thing about this is, is that uh, ColorFab have been doing a lot of innovative uh, stuff with filaments and yeah. obviously they've, they've gotten their new light with PLA, but it's always only been in like black and natural, but now they've came out with these sweet new colors. The one that we're having here is obviously the green one. Yep. Um, and the cool thing about it is for our community, they're gonna be doing a 15% off code flight. Yeah. It'll be down in the description. You can check that link. Um, so you can get 15% off the order of this new lightweight yep. fillet, filament. And there's also a discount with Eclipsen. Correct. So there's going to be 5% off all of the designs that Eclipsen makes. It's also coupon code flight. You can check that down below. Yeah. Um, for all the different designs that he's made, um, you can actually go and purchase those with that discount. Code. Yep. Go check them out. Give them some love. Uh, yeah. They're all making awesome products and innovating the game. Uh, we obviously love them. We yeah. have a ton of uh, of their of their planes up here on the wall, which is really cool. We've done almost like it's five gonna, or six different. Yeah, every couple now. months, we're gonna add a couple more. And yeah. now that our 3D printers are coming back online, we're gonna be cutting them out ourselves. Yes. We're printing them out ourselves. Yes, it's it's not foam board. <laughs> um, so here, what are you, so so what are you gonna do here? Here's then? the damage I did, and yep. it looks like oh my gosh, this is bad. It's really not that bad. And what you can do is you can literally just take a barbecue stick, which if you're part of the flight test community, you have a thousand of these, and you can simply roll this around and put a nice controlled bead right where you need it That's without awesome. making it too sloppy. I'm gonna work a little bit quicker here. 
and then we're just gonna press it back in place. And once it's kicked, it's good to go. All right, so we have big plans for this now. Yeah, we're back together. Beautiful. We have big plans. We've already flown this. I wanted to pass it over to my good friend, Dave Jester here to fly it. I landed it. I snapped the servos. We're gonna install these guys, but also we've never done this before, but a lot of Eclipsense planes are FPV capable. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and hook this up with our HD uh, FPV system here. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this in kind of here. And then even with all this in here, I also wanna up the battery. Okay. Four cell 2200. Uh, okay. Now, that, this, per that fits perfect. <laughs> we're going from a 1300 four cell tattoo battery to a 2300 four cell 45C tattoo battery. This thing's going to be heavy. It's going to be crazy fast. It's gonna be we're going to push the limits. We're going to carve through edge water and we're going to see if I can get this thing back in one piece. It's going to be sick. Awesome. Let's flying. do this. Uh, let's luck, give sir. it 15 minutes. We're going to fly. Boom. So this is pushing the limits here. Eclipsing, I'm sorry here. We, we got to see how durable this is. We got a 2200 four cell battery. We got our HD FPV system here. All together. Almost one pound, 12 ounces. So if we're flying fast, we're pulling some G's with this kind of weight and it stays together. That's awesome. Batteries are charged, we're ready to fly. All right, so we're here at a runway, and it is blazing. Yeah, yesterday, dead calm, beautiful, Chris. We get to see how this handles went. There's no ore in it, but now I really wish there was because <laughs> you guys would probably see lots more smooth FPV. But it is heavy. Yes. Heavier wing loading usually means smoother. Yes. Uh, we're gonna activate this. There are air holes through here, but I'm gonna power this up right before we take it off because I don't want to have the uh, DJI unit overheat. Yes, correct. So are we ready, guys? Yes. Uh, we're yes. See yourself. I do. <laughs> it looks like a fly to catfish. <laughs> That's double it win in my amazing. face. It looks amazing. Double win in my face. All right, I'm gonna walk out to the edge of All the right, uh, the thing. Yeah, give me a little bit of a push. A little about bit of 30 a degree angle, and nice like and a, level. A, a what, like a 30 degree up? Yeah, about 20, yeah, that's good. All right, uh, you want a countdown? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you good, Mike? Yeah. All right, three. Whoa. Beautiful! Whoa. Yeah, buddy. Holy cow, is this fast. Dude, you were you were halfway down the runway before I could even say Bob's your uncle. There's something special about flying a conventional style airplane because you have that big old vertical tip in. This thing, even with all this wind, this is carving through. Dude, are I you even you. on me, Mike? Dude, you uh, are blazing fast, well, dude. That's, that's half throttle, here's full throttle. <laughs> Good luck, Mikey. Good luck <laughs> keeping up with so, the Model R, well, bro. What you guys are probably going to get is probably from mine, but here, I'll slow down, Mike, so you can get footage. <laughs> I'm on you. Oh, are you? Awesome, oh, man. Oh, my God. I feel really comfortable with this thing. I want to start doing sketchy things. Cassie, All right, here's the yeah. tire. Fast, guys. Fast, fast. Oh, my gosh. That is so... Watch out for the tree. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I don't so know these, how close you were to that tree. Look big and sweeping, but oh, guys, man. there's a lot of G-forces uh, involved here. Oh, you inverted? Yeah, I'm inverted. Oh, I, last time I went to pass a transmitter and I broke it so quickly, I didn't get to kind of feel the plane out. So I want to do that now. Fly some slow flight. Yeah, that cruising at like crazy. third throttle. Is really? Real. Yeah, even with all this weight in here. All right, there's some gaps I just love. Dude, you gotta go so for this some gaps. Yes! <laughs> yes! You did it! <laughs> is it, is it yeah. still alive? Yeah, he went, dude, uh, Michael went through the tree. <laughs> through the tree, I like that. That's dude, full there's break. a ton of pine needles just went poof. <laughs> All right, so guys, if I break this, we can print another, right? Yes, we are, you can print another, uh, you can print other parts. We're good. I love the freedom of, I just keep turning with it. Yeah, I know, you're just moving and grooving. <laughs> around here oh, and it's the amazing. plane it has no bad tendencies that's fantastic. like you take an edge and stuff even when i throttle back on hammer on it it's fine and i'm carrying an insta 360 go on the wingtip <laughs> and this fpv system I'm and a heavier battery this thing is dirty here that's amazing all right nice one more turn. gap what do you think i don't know i like it you find you find a gap that you think is a bit crazy and you do it all right i think this is a little stupid of me listen Okay, we like good. stupid here. I'm gonna just line up here. This is a little <laughs> stupid. Listen, it's okay. I mean, we did this so you don't have to. We did this. So you don't have to. Here we 
You're good, you're good. Oh, you look good. You got a good line. Yes! 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 <laughs> Are oh, you kidding that me? That was awesome! Are yes! you kidding me? <laughs> no! Oh, that was awesome! No! All right. Josh, you land that plane yeah. right now. <laughs> okay. You can't get better than that. I'm going to land this plane. Oh, my God. Oh, my, my heart God. is on fire. That was a blast. Oh, my God. And you know, landing under the hood, I think, is a little bit easier, too. Look at this. Right there. Oh, Not all day long. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go, man. All right, guys. This is a must-have just for an all-around fun airplane. It oh, flies sure. good at a normal cruising speed on a three-cell battery. It also flies awesome FPV. And a huge shout out to Eclipse. I mean, you guys design the most beautiful planes visually, the most beautiful planes flying, and it's not hard to put together. It's phenomenal. And again, make sure you check out Color yeah. Fab, Eclipse, and go check the links below. Give them some love. Guys, and leave down in the comments below. I want to see a 2X version of this where we partner with some buddies and blow this thing up. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see a 2X version of the Model R. We'll see you guys next time. Next time.